Hi everybody, it's Jessica Harris and I wanted to show you guys how I made this strawberry shortcake hat before this cake gets thrown in the garbage can or gets dismantled. But this is my little strawberry shortcake hat and I had to come in my backyard because the party's too loud inside for me to show you this. Um, but I, I forgot to take pictures of how I put this hat on and I thought maybe you guys would it'd be helpful if you saw how it looks. But basically I had this um, three quarter inch dowel that I actually just put right into the cake. I did a really dense chocolate mud cake, so I knew it would it would hold it. And I squirted a whole bunch of um, melted chocolate into the hole after I kind of holed out the cake. And then I put the dowel in, so the chocolate helped to hold the dowel in place. Um, usually I would want to probably anchor it to a wooden board and put a screw in the bottom, which would be the best. But because my cake recipe is so dense and I'm not transporting it, since so it's for my, for my own little girl, I knew it would be fine. Um, so basically what I did then too is on this cake, I'm going to take off the hat here and show you if I can get it off, is there's a wooden um, little ball at the top that I glued on. It's about a one inch wooden ball and I just hot glue gunned it onto the top of the dowel. And what I did is when I made this hat, um, I took the cake board, you can see this, it's Rice Krispie Treats. But I put the, the um, dowel in the middle of the cake board. I, I cut a hole out of the cake board. And um, I put the Rice Krispie Treats on top of the ball as I was making this hat, forming the hat out of Rice Krispies. So that way it actually formed a little ball kind of form inside there. And that way when I went to put the hat on after it was formed, I don't show the underside of my cakes very often, so you guys are getting a sneak peek at how ugly they can be. <laughs> but, um, so then all I had to do was basically pop this right on, and it sits right on there. And I can actually pivot it however I want it to look. I could tip it, and it just stays right on there because it's kind of stuck on that ball. So that's kind of how I did that hat. So super easy, um, really fun. It's sitting a little high for me. I probably would have put it down a good inch uh, hindsight's always 2020, um, and the bill is modeling chocolate. I just let that sit out for a couple days on an actual bill to get it to form, form right. And um, yeah, so that's how I did it. So pretty easy again. Just take that cake board, put a hole in your cake board, um, set the ball in the middle of that cake board, and then set your Rice Krispies on top of that ball when you're forming it. Obviously, put some saran wrap around the ball. But it just gives you that nice little concave area and you can even squirt some melted chocolate in there if you want to and that way it'll really stick on there see my ugly backyard it's fall we have lots of leaves and i ruined my bill anyway so we're going to go eat this now but i wanted to show you how i did that in case you guys want to make your own little hat on top of a little post all right we'll see you guys later signing off